Greetings, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in CK3, playing as that beautiful Munster last time. We took a little bit of territory down here. But now we... And also, I think... Did we take Ulster? No, we did not. We did not. No, yes, we did. We did take Ulster. We also did that, too, which was a great thing. But now we must continue making more money. We must prepare ourselves for an eventual war against probably some bad folks. Most notably, this guy over here, who owns a barony of Dublin. Dublin. Cool. Now, this guy tried to fight us before. He's got quite a few soldiers. Is he allied with anybody? Can we take him out right now? We need to cast this bell eye to take him out. So, let's go ahead and get one of those thingies, which we're already working on. Very cool. We'll get there eventually. And we're trying to get some more control in a county. I think we're doing pretty well overall. We can convert some faith, but we're going to wait. And we want to make sure that we get more men at arms. We have 100 armored footmen. But, however, they are countered by spearmen. So, my question is, what counters spearmen? Uh, let's see. So it's really pikemen or spearmen. Yep, spearmen, pikemen. Same thing. So they're countered by spearmen. Armored footmen. Oh, no, no. No, armored footmen counters spearmen, okay? But what counters heavy infantry? What counters heavy infantry is light infantry. So what counters light infantry or skirmishers? Light footmen are skirmishers and they counter light infantry. So what deals with light footmen? I'm pretty sure it's light horses. Well, they counter archers. Uh, bowmen, they counter skirmishers. So, what we want are some bowmen to counter the light footmen, which could counter our armed footmen. So, this is all one big old game here. And I'm going to go ahead and just click on this. Let's go ahead and create the unit. Espionage lovers, while performing his duties as my spy master, Conal has uh, uncovered a secret held by my wife, Petty Queen Beatrice. My very own wife was taken by my Marshal Lonric as a lover. <gasps> Oh god, she's pregnant. Pregno? Pregnant. Oh no. Um. Hmm. Oh boy. Now this is getting a little weird. We don't like him. He's patient versus impatient, foreign culture, short reign um, on the council. My son? Oh, he's got a new son. Hopefully it's my son. But we'll see what happens. Let's see. Reduce corruption. We finished a task of uh, finding secrets. Cool. And now he's still trying to find some secrets. And people are killing each other around here. But that's okay. That's okay with me. Get into great titles. It's fine. Slowly let time go on. Oh, my counselor died. Let's get a new one. Spy master. Let's see. Assign vassal and knight. My vassal. Let's give it to my vassal because that's the highest level one we have here. It's not great, but it'll work. Task finished. Spy master. You have Fawn's non believer secret, huh? I can blackmail her. I'll recruit to court. She declines, her secret will be exposed, might accept. We get a small hook on her. Ah, she lost opinion, but we got a sweet hook on her. What do we have? We can create Oh, we can create the Kingdom of Ireland. You know what? We might as well do that. So let's save up a lot of money. Try to do that. And we get a lot of prestige. It's gonna take some time to get some more money though. So when we're swayed, spy master, task finish. Very nice. Oh man, they're killing each other over here. Gwenid is not having a good time. Oh my goodness. Cool. How do we get rid of this? Oh! My wife's pregnant again. God dang, she's pregnant all the time. Marshally and... Ooh. I can impregnate that. There's a known criminal and adulterer. Oh. Espionage unbeliever. While performing his duties, Mayor Urgos has uncovered a secret held by my cousin Murkide. He seems to be harboring doubts about insular doctrine. Oh, Murkide, what would this clergy say? Oh. Task finished. Fabricate claim. See it done. Uh, I really don't want to do that, but we might as well keep it there for now. I'm in debt, that's fine. Increase opinion. He wants a position on the council. Sway, uh, go ahead, that's fine for now. Cool. Just give us some more time now, we're no longer in debt, that's good. Uh, how is my military? My son, a new son, very good, very good. It is 1,090, so we'll see what happens. Two months left for increasing control in Lorink, or no, no, that's the guy's name. In control is an Ulster, which is nice. And the walls of Don Padreg. The delegation from Don Padreg slowly flies out of my private chambers, a long meeting finally over. The petitioners beg for money to repair the crumbling walls of the holding and have invoked my lordly duty to help them. I drum my fingers on the table, pondering whether to send them funds. Good fortifications are hideously expensive. Of course, if the walls are crumbling, um, anyway, then I could always divert their existing step into more personal matters. I lose money, get more lifestyle experience. Let's see, 0% chance of masterfully improving the stuff. 55% chance of disastrously rebuilt walls. Money is for me. Uh, fine. Defenses are always good to have. Espionage murder while performing his duties as spy master. He's 
the mayor has uncovered a secret held by my vassal. He schemed from the shadows to have Eba murdered. Who's Eba? Not only cool and heartless, but dishonorable as well. Cool. Oh, can I blackmail people for uh, stuff? Oh, there's a military rabble. Discontent. Who is this? It's going to send an ultimatum in a couple of months. Peasant rabble? Want freedom for the people from foreign or infidel rule? Okay. Discontent. How close a faction is issuing an ultimatum? Military powers at the threshold. Discontent will increase every month. Uh, where is this? But seriously, where is this? Is it up here? No, I don't, it doesn't say where it is. Month plus month two. Oh, new lifestyle perk? Sure, why not? Uh, overseer? And the Overseer gives you more martial, more stewardship, and more control growth factor. Let's go and grab that one. You actually have to click on that. Just because it looks available doesn't mean you actually already have it. You have to actually click on it. Uh, someone can marry? Oh. Oh. The spouse? My half-sister. She's 16. Uh, let's see. Alliance power-wise. Duchy of Mercia. Son of the Duchess. The seducer we were trying to... Oh, it's the primary heir. Liege. Queen of England. Queen Maud. Oh, God. Oh, that might not be bad. Claims on a lot down here, though. Saxon. He's over. Th it's all the way over there. Um, this guy's nine. Franken, Franconian. Liege is the duke up there, which is over here. Uh, let's see. What is this? Lombardy. That's Italy. Hunchbacked. No, thirteen-year-old hunchback. That's so sad. Oh man. French, huh? Son of Count Earl Duncan? Vassal in the Kingdom of Scotland, huh? And you're up here. We can close this out. Uh, that might not be actually bad. His liege is that. The primary heir is that. Earl might be the best one to do. It won't be under our, us, but that's okay. Maybe get a, another ally. Alliance formed. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's get out of debt for before, before I go to war with anyone. Uh, they're quite pious over here. And give us another month. Boom. Alright, let's see. Can I go to war with these folks? My claims. They are inferior. Hmm. 16, 16 soldiers. We have... Well, that's how much we have. 16, 16. Uh, we get all three of these, which would be nice, right? My claims change objective. The Earldom of Dublin. Oh, well, actually, Earldom. Bishopric. Gossip's Prestige, which is fine. Uh, actually, before we do that, I'm, we have sixteen, sixteen. I want to see their soldiers. So they have, okay, so they have, they have a lot of light footmen, which counters our heavy infantry. Mangonels are actually good for sieging stuff down. So they have a lot of light footmen. Maybe we might get. Some, oh, I would like to get this. Or actually, espionage lovers. This is useful to know. <clears throat> He's covered a secret held by my vassal Earl Olaf. He's secretly taken. Thrag, the suffragan bishop of my vassal Earl Olaf, as lover. Well, okay. So what counters light infantry? Light cavalry, light infantry. You guys counter archers. You guys counter skirmishers. Um, but, hmm. Spearmen. They have... Wait, what do they have again? Yeah, they have light footmen. Well, let's see. You guys. Counters. Oh, well, armored footmen counter spearmen. Light footmen. They have these. And they counter heavy infantry, which is not good if we went to war immediately. Uh, they type the skirmishers. So they're skirmishers technically. So really we want to get archers, which we already have. Skirmishers. Skirmishers. Does it add it? Heavy infantry. This is pretty good to get. So let's wait just a little bit longer. We don't have to go to war immediately. We could win, but for now, instead of finding more secrets, just go ahead and disrupt schemes. That'll be fine for now. Oh, let's get more control as well. Over here. That'd be good. Doing that. Fabricate and claim. Religious relations. We can improve religion there, but no. We're, we're going to switch once we get all of Ireland, which is going to take me just a little bit longer than I expected. Oh. Converted from Norwegian to Irish. Oh, we converted the culture already. Do we really? Uh... Okay, cool. Very cool. Question of loyalty. My wife, Beatrice, is with child, and I should be overjoyed. However, she's been acting strange, and I cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. It seems all too likely that she would betray me, and I, that I'm not the father of her child. She must tell me. I must be the father, surely. Uh, intrigue. 
chance to discover the truth. Um, she must tell me just to confront her. Of course, this child is yours. Beatrice rolls her eyes. Why would you ever think otherwise? I only needed to see her to believe it. What is this? Hooks and potential hook secrets. A lover secret. This character is someone's illicit lover. I don't believe her. Well, let's see what happens. A sneaking suspicion. Tears well up in Beatrice's eyes. After a long drawn-out silence, she finally admits it. Lorik is a true father of my child. I called it. See, this is why she lied to me. She is a rational atheist, but she lied to me. The secret must stay between us. Everyone will know of your infidelity. The unborn child. Why? A bastard. This could be a really blessing or a curse. It could be a threat or opportunity. You could be married away for alliance as well, not being a direct threat to your succession as long as they're not considered legitimate. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Unfaithful, now that the whole story is out in the open, my wife and her skirt chaser are about to face the consequences of their actions. Love will keep you warm in the dungeons. Lose opinion. All of the family loses opinion of me. Stops being the lover. I am prisoner. Becomes your rival. I tire of this farce. I could con consider divorcing her. Uh, well, we get a rival anyways. Because I have a fair reason no one think of me as a tyrant. Known criminal. So, can I divorce her? Spend a hundred things, use opinion. Uh, well, get the hell out of here. And let's see. Oh, that's army. So this guy, he really doesn't like me. Expose his secret, and he's my rival now. Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, I can't imprison him, darn. Demand conversion, grant titles, dismiss. Yeah, get out of here. How dare you. Recruit to court our guest. We don't have that much money. I really need to save up more money. I don't want to use my knight. Let's use my son and heir. Oh, but he's already my chancellor. Oh, he's really good at doing that, so let's not do that one. Resign, vassal, knight. Oh my goodness, my vassal. This isn't really probably good to do, but that's okay. We'll do it anyways. Let's get married. Uh, let's see. She's 16. That's not bad. Council. This guy, she's Basque. This person is Bavarian, Franconian, Franconian, French. It might not be bad. Barony. Yeah, let's go by Alliance Power. Let's see what's up here. She's an eight-year-old girl. She's old enough? I don't know, man. I don't know if I can really say that. But it's CK3. Who cares? Uh, let's see. Duke Magnus. Saxon. Might not be bad to grab. 13? Everything's young enough, right? Daughter of the Count. He's a vassal in France, which is... Eh. Oh, how about over here? Claims in the following Bavaria. That might need... Might be, she's the daughter. God dang, I can't see that. Liege? Thuringia. That might not be bad. Oh, look at the world. Oh, uh, there's Holy Roman Empire. What's over here? Burgundy? It's not bad. Cool. Uh, anything else around here? Scale, scaly, whoa. Hmm. Well, we probably won't get anyone allied to us. So, so be it. Instead, let's see. Prestige gain? What about prestige gain? Franconian, she's eight. Eh. Whatever, just do it anyways. Sure. Alright. The world is somewhat right again. So we got some money here. And we still can't buy more. And what do we need? Was it Bowman? Oh, we've discovered fascinating horseshoes. Our culture's discovered it. Nice. We're so here, I haven't really talked about this at all. We're early medieval. So we can we have things we can figure out. Right now, we just got Battlements Innovation. So right here. We're fascinated by this. It's fascinated by... Let's see, anything... Uh, let's close that out for now. Declare war. Yeah, I know. We want more money. Increase opinions. Well, we'll do that eventually. So, Manganel's Arched Saddle. Can recruit Armored Horsemen. Okay, what about Battlements? Battlements give you what? All early medieval era fortification buildings? And feudal contract? And men arms maintenance goes down. Hereditary rule. Might not be bad either. Partition law. More monthly prestige. Community government. Can reach maximum existing development penalty at 35. Royal prefer prerogative. Not preference, but prerogative. Enact high crown authority. Might not be bad either. We might actually want that. There's so much I want. Coinage. Development growth goes up. I kind of like that. 
Uh, Casus Belli, de jure Casus Belli thing. We could do Battlements. I don't mind it. Because that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think I want to go with maybe Coinage. Because I might want more of that. I want more development. I want to develop things as fast as possible. But, you know, let's, say, let's stick with Battlements. Let's keep it easy on ourselves, right? Alright, so these guys, as we said earlier. They have more light footmen. Which are skirmishers. So, oh, I can't increase the size too. Why can't I do that? At full strength, are they? They're already at full strength. Um, I guess we don't have the money. Yeah, there we go. Get another hundred. Let's see what we do about that. Let's spend some time. To obnoxious petty king Brianon. Oh, every. Oh, what is this? We've been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more. We are done paying you taxes. Uh, well, I guess we have a peasant war then. I mean, good luck with that, man. You are not going to like what I'm about to do to you. You are of superior quality. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not really. You you guys are fighting me. Yeah, no. Increase opinion to little county control. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Uh, let's see. Are we doing control? We still already are doing control, so that's fine with me. Convert religion? No, we're not going to do that. Good. And we won the war. Great. Wasn't that difficult. You have money? No? Well, I don't want to release you then. Murder, execute. Can I execute you? Oh, uh, we get more dread. We spend 100 piety, which I don't want to use. Um, How much dread do I have already? Dread. 15. Natural dread. Serving the crown. Well, that's only 100. Nice. It's, it's above natural dread, so we're going to lose some. Oh, I've been corresponding with the Chancellor. I must say that I've come to see you in a new light. Perhaps it's even someone someone that I one day may be proud to call my friend. Oh, good. King Donald. <gasps> oh, yeah. The King of Scotland. Yeah. Let's see what happens with that. Cool. And how is the army looking now? It's looking better. Could I have a better chance of killing this guy off? He does not look like he's very... People like him that much. He's vastly inferior if we call in everyone. Oh, yeah. Dietrich. Let's go and do it. Um, how much would it cost? 150. You know what? For forming Ireland, I would totally do that. Earl? Call in everyone. See what we can do. Raise all armies. Oh, my counselor's dead. Well, that's not good. Uh, I guess not that one. To loathe them, I shall join you in the war. Great. Ah, uh, of course they'll join me in the war. Great. I love my allies until they call enemies call in their allies. Well, I guess we could worry about that. They're going to take it over pretty quickly because they have... That actually is really good to get their siege equipment. But I'd rather take the capital, so... Okay, we got the capital. Now, if I can come back over here... It looks like a fair battle, but we'll see what happens. Oh, boy. They can't do anything there. That's fine. How about you stay here? And let's go over there. Start sieging you down. Now they're leaving. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, I can get a new perk. Great. So we can go with Cass's belly cost, which actually I should have. I should have waited for that. Whoops. Oh, well. Movement speed, heavy infantry screens, engineer for destruction, hit and run. Envelopment, men at arms, counter efficiency. Oh, that could be really decisive. Raiding speed, supply capacity, sappers. Siege progress, point one. Strategist or stalwart leader reduces risks. We are commanding our own army, so that actually might be better to do because I do not want my commander to die. More night effectiveness, more courtship. Uh, that's okay. Marriage stuff, that's okay. Fatal casualties goes down. More advantage seems really good. Number of knights. A spouse opinion skills from spouse counselor, peacemaker. Uh, that could be actually really, really beneficial. I guess we'll go with this one. Reduces risk because he is commanding everything, so. Where are they? Oh, he's, he came back. Follow him. Oh boy, I will probably lose. So then we'll go right there then. Siege him down. We're at 80% because we own it. Oh, we're sieging it. Oh man, we're seeing you down. Quickly. Oh, they got it right before. I should have waited to click. That's alright. It won't take too long to siege stuff down there then. Let him leave and go back here. In strategical impasse. 
Uh, I am sitting around the map table with Mayor Urgas and Earl Olaf discussing her strategy for the ongoing war. Urgas bangs his fist on the table and loudly proclaims that we should charge the enemy directly and crush them with the sheer might of our armies. While Olaf nervously mutters about how we should avoid unnecessary engagements and fight a war of attrition. It is my right to decide our ultimate course of action, though. Uh, someone loses his opinion of me. We get improved offensives. Uh, usually if our attack is good enough, or our marshal's high enough, we can we can get both, but we it's a fine, whatever. Avoidance. They can both act as they see fit. Uh, yeah, why not? You think it, oh, hello. I really does mean they got bushwhacked. It's fine, whatever. They can siege you down pretty quickly, but so can we now. There we go, we won. Beautiful. Total soldiers, 7,000. Enforced demands, I get the title. Beautiful. And our allies share 20 prestige or fame. Yeah. Beautiful. Not bad. So he still has some of this stuff, which is not ideal. Prisoner's taken. Petty King Donamel's... Ooh. Can I get more money? Yeah, I'll do that. Good deal. Prisoner released. So it wasn't all of this, which is fine with me. We'll go back to war with them later on. But, let's see. Anything here? Fabricate claim. We'll wait on that. From all culture. What are they? Norwegian here? Oh, no, 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 no. We need more control. Let's go ahead and put it in... Uh, we'll put it in Desmond. Why not? Nice. Hey, we're married. My heir is married. Alliance form. Cool, cool. Uh, 29. I want to save my money as much as possible. Vassal Knight, our guest. It, it's only 10. Oh, my goodness. 20. Let's get the person who's 10. It's only one lower point. He's a little old, but whatever. Nice. Let's get a little bit more money and then invest in another building first. And then I'm going to continue getting more ar men at arms. Uh, so wait, Earl? Uh, oh, that was no longer valid. That's fine. I can go to war with Petty King. Wait, hold on. So this is Petty King of Meath. Didn't we just fight him? Oh, no, we fought the, uh... Huh. Vastly inferior. Well, why not? 2,000 soldiers, never enough. Well, let's go take Meath and Munster. Uh, let's see, chances are even. Well, as long as they grab this, we'll be okay, right? Now they're probably going for my capital, but if we can siege them down faster, that'd be okay. Oh, crap, they got siege weapons. My counselor is dead. Not ideal. Oh, did I just hire him? I think I did. My guest, 15. So be it. I took my petty king. Oh, took the king hostage. Okay, well, let's just enforce demands then. Nice. We almost have all, all of Ireland under us. Now. We just went to war with them. We can't go to back war with them for now. I, I'm going to murder him. Might not be a bad idea. Primary heir. What if we arrange a marriage? No. They, they probably don't like us since we just beat the snot out of them again. Well, I like winning wars, right? Oh, a guardian for this person. Uh, me? Let's go with uh, some of all skills. Bishop. Yes, the bishop. I can change a contract of this person. I like more money. I don't want him to hate me. More knights? Oh, that would be pretty good. Yeah, more money would be nice. Uh, what can I do instead? Imprison, grant titles, modify fuel to contract, demand conversion. Uh. Oh, he's not Christian, huh? Well, not our Christian. I can... Oh. Huh. Good. Is apprehended and awaits her fate safely locked in my dungeons. Beautiful. Court physician prisoners. Let's see. Can I ransom you away? Yes. For one? Never mind. Can I ransom you away? Uh, they can't afford it. Can I ransom you away? And we'll see what happens. Nice. Goodbye. Oh, I'm in prison for 18 months. Negotiate release. Demand conversion. For now, sure, why not? Farewell. And now, can, we, can you afford it? Pays two. Cannot afford. Yeah, we'll wait then. 
A curse undone. A twist and turn of fate has not always been to my advantage. God knows that I was cursed today I met Lorink. Today, however, the curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that evil troll to his grave. Ah, <sighs> my rival's dead. And right now, I want to save up more money so I can actually form the Kingdom of Ireland. And take these guys out for later. That's going to be, have to be later on. Because How long is a truce? He's looking pretty weak. Hey, Fable comes of age. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would come to teach Fable, uh, Falb, the intricacies of administration. All efforts have come to naught. However, few would be impressed by his understanding of the subject, <laughs> but he has at least developed a sound grasp on the basics, basics of management and the beginnings of a sense of frugality. Cool. He has claims, but he's not going to get those claims, I'll tell you what. He's Irish, he's Catholic, he's a torturer. Wow. Aspiring Blade Master. What is this? Lifestyle Intimidation Focus. Okay, well, in order. Neighboring ruler won the war. Uh, how long is this gonna last? Oh, I need a claim on him, which we should probably work on. But it's gonna take some time for us to get there. Scotland's looking pretty strong. We'll probably take out Wales first. Ooh, new lifestyle. Knight effectiveness. Mm, romance scheme. I'm not really gonna be too romantic here. Maybe better knights. An unstoppable Alexander. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was astonished to learn about the exploits of Alexander the Great during his conquest of Mesopotamia. During the Siege of Tyre, Alexander assaulted an island fortress by demolishing a nearby town and using the rubble to build a causeway stretching from the island to the main city's walls. This allowed his siege engines to attack the enemy fortress directly, though it was his navy which ultimately created a breach. No amount of water shall stop my armies. Get Forder. What is Forder? Ooh, crosses water without advantage penalties. That causeway was a feat of great ingenuity or military ingenious. Siege phase time. That's not bad. Turning my foes' resources against them? Brilliant. Reaver? Raid speed? Eh, that's not bad. Why waste time? Uh, we're not going to be fighting over the water too much, even though we probably actually might. You are... Hmm. Not that strong. Light footmen, light horsemen. Yeah, maybe we should get some siege equipment, actually. For the... What does that do? Well, whatever. We'll just take that one for now. Cool. And we're definitely doing better on our units. Doing quite well, actually. Son, take a prisoner. Um, what are you doing, man? Offer to join war? Why'd you imprison my son, man? What's going on? What are they doing over here? Levy volunteers? Great. Very good, very good. Anything for my council? Anything? No. Good, good, good. Very nice. How old am I? We are currently 49 with... Wow, what is wrong with her? She is wounded. That is not good. Call, oh, crap. Call to war. Curious. Trusting. Fickle and brave. So that's not too bad. Uh, let's see what's going on. Are you... Oh, you're trying to usurp the basically the kingdom of Scotland. Uh, I'm going to say no. Just because I, I want to have good relations with the Kingdom of Scotland, I can ransom the mayor. Uh, yeah, I know we can. Change of contract. 0.2 more a month might be pretty good. Hi. That's a lot more levies. I want to do that. Use a hook. Yeah, use a hook. Ah, so you, my son, and knight can marry. Uh, alliance power, who do we have? A five-year-old. She's not bad. Irish. Irish. Swabian. Swabian. Uh, French. French might not be bad. Daughter of Baron Louis. Vassal in the kingdom of... In oh. Oh, they're not doing too bad down here, Francis. Oh, but then again, they have some rebellions going on. Castile's not looking bad either. Hmm. Lowborns, who is this? Guest. Earl of... Daughter of Earl. Another daughter of Earl. She's 33. She's too old. Seven. Who is this? Daughter of Baroness. Vassal in the HRE. Let's see. Anyone else? Who is this? Bray. She's French. Granddaughter of Count who? Alright. Well, let me see. I just want to see. Let's see. Liege is that, Liege is that. Okay, interesting. Uh, well, she's 15. That's not bad. Wrathful, patient, arrogant. So she's over here. Ah, right there. 
And her liege is right, same place. Uh, sure, why not? Go, well, why not? Lack of guardians. Let's grab the bishop. Please don't touch the kid like that. And our knight. Sure, why not? Why not? Ransom the mayor. You don't have enough money yet. You gotta pay up. Betrothed can marry. Here we go. Very nice. Alright. Titles can be created. Kingdom of Ireland. How much would it cost? 500. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. But 6.9. 7 a month is not bad. Oh, we're generous. God dang it. Oh, why do I have to hurt myself so? To the brooding king, I've been corresponding with the Chancellor Cormac, and it's been a shameful diplomatic display. You are not the man I thought you were. Oh. Petty king. Oh, I don't really care. I'm going to kill you off soon enough anyways. Uh, my, the memories remain. Oh, Marakai, if you were still with me, I knew you would tell me to be strong. The things will get better, though. And you would be right, as you always were, but I first must curse and cry. How could I not, when you are gone from this world, you'll never be forgotten, old man. Oh, man, my friend has died. That's not cool. Oh, oh God. Where's this? The guy in Lorraine is fighting whom and why? They're fighting Philip. I can't do that. And Castile, man. I don't want to piss off Castile. I want to get married to them eventually. Sorry, man. Just not today. Maybe tomorrow. I really want to go to war with these guys again. So when do we go to war? Like, when does it, the truce end? Is there a truce thingy? Titles? Feudal? I wish you would tell us. I'm sure it's somewhere here. We got that task done, which is good. More control. Put it down. Oh, make sure Dublin's really, really under us. What is this? Lifestyle focus. Pretty king. Earldom. Title. Destroy title. No, I think we're okay. Intrigue. I do want to eventually uh, make some decisions. Take about poverty now. Amnesty for false conversions. Go on a feast. Call for physicians. I think it'd be kind of good. Oh, what is this? Just lost inefficiency. Good, good, good. Uh, uh, not sway. That's fine. Oh, his wife is in prison. Oh, so Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse, and the routes are fraught with danger. In order to protect their pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for the Christ, for the Christ and His faithful, His Holiness Pope Anastasius has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. The theological ramifications of this news are already being discussed by several notable members of our clergy who are eager to follow the example of the Catholics and begin a new age of religious warfare in the name of insular Christianity, if they say so. Cool, we can go on a crusade. Uh, but I'm okay for right now. Mm hmm. Seriously, when do we... Oh. Oh. Irish settlement installation new administration. The people of Dublin have finally embraced Irish traditions. Great work. Awesome, dude. Awesome, 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 awesome. So now we're all Catholic. Well, I guess we're all Irish here. Oh, what's going on here? Hey, we're married. Or someone's married. Well, let them do this. Ah, oh, new Marshall Park. Very cool. I'm getting older and older. Friendly Fatal Casualties goes down by 20%, and we get more advantage. I like that. Never back down, even though this would actually... We should probably take that one, actually, instead. Because that's a pretty good... Blind is 50%. We're doing pretty good on Prestige. Illustrious. On the march, at the end of the field ex exercise, it seemed a brilliant idea. To practice regrouping an army in disarray, I split my troops and ordered every officer to independently make their own way to Lumniak. Of course, by the third day of waiting, but with only half my army in place, I started to see flaws in the plan. May Urgas suggests I ride out with a contingent of knights to find the missing troops while the rest of the army returns home. It'll be a thrilling search. Good idea, you're in charge. Mike in a perk? Ah, uh, as I approach the lake, I spot a camp pitched on its shores. As I enter it, I met by a surgeon in charge. My lord, our water stores leaked while on the move, and our pack animals cannot make the march home without more water than we currently have. The soldier looks at me nervously. If the lord and his knights ca helped carry water skins, however... Yeah, this is the only way. The men will march, and they will march now. Gains desertion. Your search continues. Just get them home, Sergeant. I do not care anymore. This is the way. Fine. On the march, passing through a small village, I realized that, though clad in simple clothes, the guards we were seeing everywhere were carrying weapons with my mark on them. Welcoming me in the muddy street was... a choid. The self proclaimed divine guardian of the town. The soldiers had laid down their armor to help them serve God. I already ruled by divine right. Ooh. Again, prestige. You have a day to flee this place, Zealot. I spend things. They grow tired of playing the holy soldiers soon enough. I already ruled by divine right, so let's do it. I got more of that back. So, Norman or more, the sly queen of Maud of England, her vassals, and her whole family has been heeded the call of Albion and embraced English culture. Well, good for her. On the march, well, the outriders brought news of the little encampment. 
I did not expect to find the soldiers still practicing the battle formations. It seems that my son, Fab took it upon himself to continue the field exercises while waiting for word from the main army. His troops lined up neatly as I right, right up to meet him. Those were not the orders I gave. I get dread. He doesn't like me more. What is this shoddy stance? There's no way to hold a sword. Take the men home. Fallible. I'm tired of searching. Those are not... Yeah, I'll also do that. He'll like me later on. So, on the march. I can hear some of them from outside the roadside tavern. And as some of my knights kicks open the door, my wayward soldiers fall silent. My rebel makes them stare down into their tankards with a nary word between them. The proprietor knows her eyes. So, you're responsible for this rebel? I've got enough of coin to pay for the damages. No! These men have the right idea. Pour me a drink. Pour me a drink. We lost... We basically lost nothing and gained nothing in terms of prestige. So the last of my troops have made it back to Lumniak, and the orders have been restored. Though this was hardly a display of military brilliance, I've gained a new perspective of my army and the individual soldiers of which it is composed. It was a valuable exercise after all. Perfect. Just exactly what I wanted. Yes. We could have gotten King's Guard for a number of nights, but that's okay. Come on. Yes. That is my friends. Let us do it. We shall create the Kingdom of Ireland title. We are now a mighty high king. Now, let's see if we can ransom this person finally. Eh, that's enough. Adopt a special succession type. So I don't know what's going to happen here. So we are now mighty king. Uh, a few knights. We can probably get more. We can declare war on Prince Cad Cadwigan. Cool. Let's talk about that in a little bit. So partition succession makes us weak and divided. Perhaps the realm's magnates would accept a historical alternative. You may pick a form of traditional elective succession based on your culture or your capitals, provided one is available. It will be applied to any of your top ranked titles using partition succession. Um, I'm not sure how to do this. I'll be honest. Um, is that is that worth doing? Eh, I'll do it anyways. So the question of who shall succeed me after my death has plagued me ceaselessly of late. The threat of splitting the realm ever on my mind. Of course, while it is unusually difficult to persuade the realm to accept a new order to the succession, it can be much easier to return to the old. Partitions for the ancient ways of my people were best. Tanistry elected succession. So, what is that? The ruler and all vassals of one, and two ranks below the title, can nominate an heir, the Tanist, uh, from among the members of the ruler's dynasty. Vassals will tend to favor the older, distant relatives over a close family. Um, that makes sense. You know, let's try it anyways. Uh, we'll try it anyways, why not? We can vote for an heir, and I would like to invite some new knights, because it looks like we do... We are missing some. Oh, we're missing one. That's not bad. Uh, low country control. Well, we're working on that right now, quite literally. Declare war on... Who is this? Earl? He's prestige. Uh, I'm kind of okay for now. As long as they're still under me. Ah, Ireland is beautiful. Oh, I hold too many duchies. Oh, that's not good. Uh, nominate an heir? He's number one. He's my son, heir, and friend. Yeah, we'll nominate him. Hmm. So, this is, I'm going to really screw this up, I'll be honest. I'm really going to screw this up. Uh, can we go to war with this guy yet? Yeah, we can. I mean, he's vastly inferior, but I don't want to break the uh, truce yet, so. Even though it doesn't show you what truce we have. Oh, well. Uh, not bad, not bad. Oh, accept the ransom, good. Good, good, let's get some more money. Money's always good to get, and we probably need to get some more of these guys, too. But we don't have enough money to do that stuff. Click to manage, raise all armies in our realm. So we got too many titles, huh? Hmm. Vassal, three realm size, one. Steward and Vassal, Republic. What if we gave him a title? Ulster, Dublin. Uh, we can give him that. New domain size. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Too many held duchies. You can only hold two duchies personally before your vassals start to get jealous. The more you hold above it, the more envious they get. You should consider giving away some of our... Okay, so maybe that's not bad. Maybe I really don't understand this part of the game too much, so if you could explain it to me maybe in the comments, I'd greatly appreciate it. But let's give this guy some title, I guess. That's fine with me if he gets ossery. So we lose the duchy here, right? Do you like the earldom? Is that a duchy? That's a castle holding. Still remains my vassal. Go ahead and do that. Whatever. Oh, wait. Maybe... No, that was not a duchy. Whoops, my bad. I'll get some more of that. That's fine. He becomes my prestige. My prestige. My vassal. Petty Kingdom of Munster. No, I won't keep that one. Konak? Uh, my son? What if we gave him? Ulster? Oh, I can't do that. There we go. We can do that, maybe. There we go. 
Okay. Not bad, not bad. So, who else do we have here? Siblings? Uh, unmarried, my other son. Grant him the title of Ulster. There we go. Get rid of that one, too. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad thing to do. I don't know. Oh, Marshall. Mm, knight, 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 knight. Chancellor, knight. Son and knight. Why is everyone a knight? Assigned to court. How much is it? It's not bad. Just do that. I can... Oh. Well, I can imprison her, but probably not. Duchy, powerful vassals, heir, negotiate an alliance with the prince. Um, I mean, he's my son, so sure, why not? Even though I probably should have got someone else. I hope I did everything right. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So how long is seriously? How long is this truce? We can't offer vassalage, but he won't accept. Which kind of sucks. Anything else? Uh, you can change the contract here. He's a hook. Could get more levies. Money isn't that much more important, so we'll do that. Cool. Uh, cool. Oh, so the map. My spies have before me about a hundred causing ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lord in pearls and silk. Apparently he drew a map of the local wetlands for an unknown nobleman. The spies think the lord must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. The idiot belongs in my dungeon. Dungeon. More vigilant. Eh, let's get more vigilant for now. Yeah, I really don't know where the truce button is. Oh. My queen is pregnant. Oh, there we go. I did want to f finish this guy off. I get the territory. Good. Raise all armies. Does he even have an army? No. I definitely need to make a bigger army, though. And boom. You are now my vassal. But now that is a nice Ireland. Cool. So, I, oh, France is not looking very good. HRE is having some wars. Bohemia is having some wars. Sweden is looking pretty darn good. Denmark is looking pretty thick, too. But I guess that's going to end today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I guess I will see you tomorrow uh, when we might invade Wales or maybe Scotland. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.